What happens to a special needs child after high school? That's the question I've been sitting with. So I've heard that this is Ramsey's last year at his school and my anxiety is kicking in. Yeah, because Ramsey's been at that school so long. I know all his teachers, they've been nothing but fantastic. I can communicate with them on the app and they respond right away, even if they're on vacation. I appreciate these teachers and they don't have another special need class after this one. How do you guys deal with changes? Because I know my son doesn't take changes too well, so therefore I am already nervous about changes. I keep thinking, what's the other school gonna be like? Are the teachers nice? Is there a crazy one in between that wanna do something awful? Like, those are the thoughts I'm having, which is not good. But let me know in the comments below, how do you deal with changes when your special needs child have to change a school or a routine? How do you go about it? Let's get into the video. Hey special family, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Autism Mom. On this channel, we talk about autism and everything in between. If you like to join the family, click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Guys, I've been having a thought lately and if you've been having it too, please let me know down below. What happens to special need kids after high school? Like, when I say special need kids, not all special need kids um, go further to college. What happens to the ones that do not go to college? Like, what's the next step? It's been bothering me. And since Ramsey is almost a teenager, I don't know, my mind has been going every which way but Sunday. And I wanted to know what happens. So your girl went digging. Yes, I said digging. Found the mom and she answered the question. What happens to your child after high school? This is what she had to say. Hi. Good morning. Um, I just dropped off my son to go to his uh, ATP class. Um, if you don't know what that is, ATP is Adult Transition Program. It's where they go to, it's kind of like a college of vocational classes uh, for four years after graduating from high school. My son is an adult um, special needs. He's diagnosed with autism and ADHD. And so for four years, he's gonna be here. Actually, this is his third year going to the adult transition program. And every day they go to work sites uh, where they few, few hours a day, they work um like today tuesday they he would be going to chili's uh restaurant he does um he cleans their table their you know sweeps around and what he does is uh he does the electronic stuff that's on the table on each table at the restaurant and he does the battery checks the battery and he makes sure that they're working that's where usually where you see the menu and also that's where you pay or you just insert your credit card and you know it's right there in front of you so uh, that's he's been doing that for quite a while at the beginning of the school year and um he has one more year and, but a lot of parents right now, um, I've been talking to, this is their last year. And after this is what do they do? Where do they go? And, um, what's going to be, what's going to be for them, you know? And so that's one of the worries of us as parents and we want them to, we want to really help them um, be independent and live their full life. But um, 
yeah just share uh i'm here i'm hoping by creating this video create hoping to create a community of us helping each other sharing our thoughts sharing our worries our struggles and especially our wins you know we're hoping that we can all share ideas also so hope you have a great day take care bye bye do you ever think about your child with autism growing up and becoming an adult exiting the protected world of special education well you're not alone i'm julie swanson the life skills lady transition is very overwhelming and I've got lots of tips to share with you about it, but let me start with this one. Don't make the mistake of starting the process of transition to adulthood in the 11th hour. I'm a special education advocate and so many parents call me. It's not only 11 o'clock in the process, it's 11.30, quarter of, and it tends to be an afterthought for so many folks, and I just don't want you to fall into that trap. Find out from your state what age transition begins. So what is the transition program? So here we have Kimberly, and Kimberly is going to explain to us what the transition program is since she went to it and she graduated from it. So let's listen to Kimberly. All right, so I posted a video about Kimberly riding the bus to the transition program for the very last time and that she graduated. And we got the question quite a bit, what is the transition program? Kimberly, what's the transition it program? It teaches you to live on your own and money stills and getting a job. That's right. Is there anything else you wanna say? And I miss it. You miss it? Yeah, you you miss going with your friends every day? Yeah. And do you want to tell the people anything else? Bye. So, after hearing all of this, I started thinking, so what does a what does it look like in there? I I need a visual of what's going on inside of a transitional transition program. And what does it look like in there? Like, I wanted to have an idea, and this is what I found. Brightstone is an individualized, young adult transitional program located in Gainesville, Georgia. We are not a campus or facility, but rather a community integrated. Coaching and mentoring model serving neurodiverse young men and women ages 18 to 30. Day 3 at Bridges at Bow Transition Center. Today is the last day of setup. Watch for the great unveil. We've got home goods. We've got apparel. We've got all right here. Which is awesome. Awesome. Why'd you want to volunteer? So, the, uh, the, uh, you know, I would say the biggest thing is, is just being able to give back to my community. I actually grew up uh, right in this area. So I grew up right on Tui in California in Rogers Park. And I'm uh, very familiar with the area. potentially with Target, right? With uh, retailers, with people that they want to learn from.
Wow, everything from the cutest clothes, shoes, masks. There's cleaning supplies and every other product you would find at a local Target. This hasn't been done at any other school in the nation. We are so proud and excited of Bridges and Target for creating this amazing opportunity for students. So, after high school for your special need kids, this adult transition program, they say it assists in practicing life skills such as personal hygiene, transportation skills, home skills, interpersonal skills, money skills, and time management abilities. They provide internship that allows for practicing of job skills and building a resume. Students are mentored by an adult and guided through jobs of their choosing. So if you have a child that's in the adult transitioning program and you have experience with it, please comment below. I would like to know what your child experience was, what it's like. You know, I'm, I'm curious. I'm pretty sure other parents are too. But if you have any experience with this, please let us moms that are not there yet know what it's like to be in one of these programs because it looks really cool. And the benefits, it's all about the benefits for me. My kid can learn a lot from a program like this. So please let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.